Hey y'all, it's Holistic Beauty RN. I'm a registered nurse here to give you useful information based on the research. So enjoy. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Hey you guys, welcome to my channel, Holistic Beauty RN. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're an OG, oldie buddy goody, welcome back. So in today's video by the title, you're going to see how to properly, I cannot emphasize that word enough, properly ferment your rice water in order to achieve the most effective results from it. Um, too often times I'm seeing different videos where people are showing to ferment the water just for a few minutes, like putting the rice water, you know, putting the rice in a, in a container, adding, you know, rinsing it off first, adding some water, and then draining the rice from that water or the water from that rice right away, not really even letting the water ferment, which is what's gonna reap the most amount of benefits from that rice water. I know that based on the research, because y'all know me, I'm all about my research. That's what my channel is based off of evidence-based research, which is research that is based on evidence. Whether it's through clinical trials, research studies, what have you, um, to show that this is the best thing that, or this is the best route to take when it comes to using rice water because it's more effective. It's been shown to be more effective. Oh, Fermentation is the process of breaking down a carbohydrate, such as a starch, which in this instance is the rice, into an alcohol. So when you ferment it, essentially it turns into an alcohol. However, also during this process, you're releasing those nutrients in the rice, which is the protein to help strengthen the hair strand, your vitamins B, your vitamins E, your main amino acids, which are another fancy word for protein. So all of that stuff mixed in one. When you let it sit there, it's releasing, that rice is releasing all of its content into the water. And the longer it sits, the more opportunity you get for that to happen. Um, so that means you're gonna reap the most effective benefit from this rice water essentially so i'm gonna show you guys how to properly ferment the water so come on you guys come on come on i've researched that you know any rice could be good um but a lot of people steer clear um, from certain types of rices but essentially any rice will be effective i'm just using some regular enriched white rice here so first and foremost what i'm going to do which is so important is to always rinse off your rice water first I've got my bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my rice. So I'm just going to use half a cup of rice. So I've got my measuring cup here. Okay, I'm just gonna measure out half a cup of rice. Put that in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse my rice. So as I'm doing that, I'm really working my hands through the rice to really get those impurities out of it. So you can do this for a few, for a minute or so. Just really work your hands through the rice to get any of the impurities from the rice. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and drain that water from the rice. Being careful not to pour out my rice along with it. All right. Okay, so now that I've finished rinsing my rice, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to the container that I'm going to be using. So, I just got my glass container here with my lid, so now I'm just going to go ahead and transfer this rice to my glass container here. Some people might use a funnel in this process. Um, the takeaway here is just getting that rice in there. Now I'm going to add one to two cups of water. Here's my first cup. I'm letting you guys get a better view from this angle. I'm just adding that. Perfect. So I think one cup is enough for me. So to each his own, like I said, you can add one to two cups of water. So I just went ahead and added the one cup. 
just regular tap water uh, lukewarm tap water and then now because rice water has been known and I've experienced this myself to have a potent odor um, it is okay to add some orange peels to this rice. So I've just got a regular orange here, which I'm just gonna go ahead and just peel off and add that to my rice water there. Just a few slices of orange peel, okay? So just the peel, not the actual orange part in there, but just the peel. So, I've added my three pieces of orange peel to this rice water. Now I'm going to cover it, make sure it's screwed, the lid is screwed on tightly to allow that rice water to ferment and I'm just gonna give it a good shake to help release some of those nutrients from the rice into the water. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set it to the side to ferment for 24 to 48 hours. So that fermentation is just literally leaving the untouched rice water in a tightly closed jar, just leaving it to the side, um, not um, not in the refrigerator, but at room temperature, just leaving it off to the side where it can properly ferment. So that, my friends, is how you properly, thoroughly ferment your rice water for 24 to 48 hours so that it is ready for use and to allow you to get the most effective results from your rice water. So if you guys haven't already checked out my rice water video, please go ahead and check the link above. I will go ahead and link for you guys my rice water series playlist where it has all my rice water videos in there for you guys to binge watch. So until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye. Tell me that you love me